Hi everyone, Jean-Pierre from teamtennis.fr and teamtennis.net, former tennis coach in France. In this video, I'm going to give you some advice to choose the right tension for your strings. The tension of the strings is often a parameter players don't take enough into account. Most of the time, it seems that uh, the average tension of 24 kilograms is used, whatever type of string is used, even with polyester strings, uh, which is a problem. The tension of the strings is very important for feelings, power, access to top spin, and last but not least for injury prevention, very important. So I'm go going to give you some advice to choose the right tension for your strings. First, if you have absolutely no idea what tension to choose for your racket, you can follow these recommendations. First, you search on the, on the racket, on the internet. If you find a recommended tension range uh, for your racket, and this information is sometimes indicated in the throat of the racket, and then if you find this information, you can take the recommended average tension as a starting point, so for instance, if it's indicated 22, 26 kilograms for your racket, you set yourself in the middle and you start with a tension of 24 kilograms. But you are not going to stop there, it is just a starting point. Because then you are going to adjust this tension, if necessary, according to the sensations you are looking for, using the advice I'm going to give you in this video. If there is no indication on your racket, and you don't find any information on internet, you can choose as a, as a starting point 23 or 24 kilograms without taking much risk. Then, same, it's going to be necessary to adjust the tension according to the uh, advice uh, I'm going to give you. And uh, by proceeding by successive tests, uh, by modifying the tension by one or two kilograms each time, because changing the tension by half a kilogram, in my opinion, is not going to make a very significant difference in terms of feeling. Okay guys, so once you have a tension as a starting point, you are going to adjust, if necessary, this tension according to different parameters we are going to talk about. First parameter is the sensations you are looking for when you play, and also your game style. So you should know that the more you increase the tension of your strings, the more control you will have. It means you are going to send the ball less far, and you are going to reduce the power of your shots, which is interesting for powerful players who want some control and who want to limit their mistakes sending the ball too far. The more the lifespan of the string is reduced, the more the comfort is reduced, so pay attention with high tensions, and, and also the more the access to top spin is reduced. Conversely, the more the tension of the string is lowered, the more the control is reduced, it, it means you are going to have more easy power, the power is increased, which is interesting for less powerful players or simply uh, for players who want some easy power. The more the lifespan of the string is increased, the more you increase the comfort, which is interesting, of course, for the prevention of injuries, and the more the access to top spin is increased because the strings will move more easily. So these elements must therefore be taken into account to adapt the tension of your strings. Then the type of string is also extremely important. First, we are going to make a pack with multi-filament strings, synthetic guts, nylons, and natural guts. These types of strings are relatively flexible. They will allow you to use higher tensions while losing less comfort than with mono filaments. So you can take the recommended tensions as a starting point. Now we are going to talk about monofilament polyester strings. These strings are much stiffer than multi-filament. So it's recommended to lower the tension most often by five or 10% compared to the recommended tension of the tension you use in multi-filament. It means around 22, 23 kilograms. If you are used to play with 10, 24 kilograms in multi-filament, and you can even use lower tensions with these types of strings. The head size of the racket can also be taken into account to adjust the tension of your strings. You can slightly increase the tension if you use an oversized racket with a head size above 645 square centimeters, 100 square inch, and by lowering a bit the tension on medium head uh, racket size, 632 square centimeters, 98 uh, square inch, or smaller. 645, 100 square inch is an average and versatile head size for a tennis racket. The string pattern is also an element to take into account 
tight string patterns like 18 by 20, 18 by 19, for example, reduce the power and the access to top spin. It may be a good idea to lower the tension a bit with this type of string patterns. 16 by 19 string patterns are versatile and open string pattern 16 by 18, for instance, are more powerful. They will better tolerate a rise in tension without too much loss of comfort. Now we have talked about the important parameters to take into account when you want to adjust the tension of your strings. I want to give you the advice to avoid playing with high tensions as much as possible. With the arrival of uh, polyester strings widely used, players have kept the habit of playing with a tension close to 24 kilograms, often more, which is a kind of reference tension. Whatever type of string you use, for good muscle relaxation during your swings, for injury prevention, for an easier access to top spin, for more easy power, I recommend at least that you try to lower the tension of your string as much as possible with successive attempts, lowering each time by one kilogram. Don't set yourself any limits concerning the string tensions, especially lowering the string tension. You should maybe put yourself some limits when you increase the tension, but you can lower the tension as much as you want, as long as you have some, some good feelings when you play. Only listen to your feelings and give yourself also some time to adapt yourself to the new tensions. Maybe you know the professional player Adrian Manarino who plays with the tension around 12 kilograms. This is an exception, but it shows that everything is possible and that the most important is your feelings when you play. Don't set yourself any limits. For players with a powerful game style, we use a lot of energy when hitting and put a lot of power in their shots. I also recommend trying to lower the tension so you can have the same or more power with less effort. Once again, give yourself some time to adapt to this new tension. But really, that's interesting because for my part, I gradually decreased the tension of my strings from 26 kilograms to 20, 21 kilograms. This is the tension I currently use on my Prince 100, uh, on my Prince 2 or 100P, and I receive many benefits from it. More power, especially on the serve, which is a weak shot in my game, more relaxation, less fatigue in the arm, less effort to hit the ball, more comfort, and I still have a control that remains quite correct. Really try that, try to lower the tension of your strings especially with monofilament polyester strings. Very important for injury prevention. Okay, guys, I stop here for this video. I hope it will help you for your feelings on the court. And I hope you will follow this advice to try at least to lower a bit the tension of your strings, especially with monofilament polyester strings. Your arm, your shoulder will be happy. You can also find an article concerning this topic on my English web website, teamtennis.net, on which I will try to put more and more English content. Guys, thank you very much for watching this video. Have fun playing tennis and I see you very soon in another video. Take care. Bye bye.